Hi, thanks for joining us today. It's our Wednesday devotion. I hope you're all doing well and are discovering a new rhythm for your life. The way you work, the way you relax, the way you interact with one another. The other day I was listening to Elevation Church's new worship album, Graves to Gardens. There's a song on there called Rattle. Part of the song goes like this. My God is able to save and deliver and heal and restore anything he wants to. Just ask the man who was thrown on the bones of Elisha if there's anything that he can't do. Sorry, the man who was thrown on top of Elisha's bones? What's that all about? Never heard about it before. Better get the Bible out. What's going on? Yes, it's in there. It's 2 Kings 13, 21. Once while some Israelites were burying a man, suddenly they saw a band of raiders. So they threw the man's body into Elisha's tomb. When the body touched Elisha's bones, the man came to life and stood up on his feet. Just imagine that. Imagine the man's surprise. Imagine his shock. Hello? Hello, anyone there? Where am I? Hey, I'm back! We don't get the man's name. We don't hear any more about him. He fell on Elisha's bones and came back to life. Mum! Mum! I think I see Dad walking up the path. Imagine the stories he could tell. You'll never guess what happened to me. Well, one day I was... So friends, that got me thinking about interesting and miraculous things that God did in the Bible. What about Deuteronomy 29.5? For forty years I led you through the wilderness, yet your clothes and sandals did not wear out. That's God speaking. That's miraculous. Forty years, your clothes and your shoes did not wear out. Then I remembered about Peter in Acts chapter 5, 14 to 16. Nevertheless, more and more men and women believed in the Lord and were added to their number. As a result, people brought the sick into the streets and laid them on beds and mats so that at least Peter's shadow might fall on some of them as he passed by. Crowds gathered also from the towns around Jerusalem, bringing their sick and those tormented by impure spirits, and all of them were healed. His shadow might fall on them, and they would be healed. Peter's shadow, people dragging their loved ones who were sick and unwell out into the street and putting them on mats hoping Peter would come down the road and his shadow might fall on them and they be healed. Imagine their excitement. Imagine their anticipation. Imagine these people's great faith. We have a miracle working God, an amazing God. And Paul in Acts 19, 12, so that even handkerchiefs and aprons that had touched him were taken to the sick. And their illnesses were cured and evil spirits left them. That's powerful. A piece of cloth that Paul had touched was taken and the sick were healed and lives were transformed. Friends, I'm very happy to pray for you to be healed. Very happy to do that. Whatever your request. And I will leave the rest up to God. Our God is a miracle working, amazing, life transforming God. Don't forget 
Our God is able to save. He's able to deliver. He's able to heal. I'm sure there are many more interesting things hiding in the Bible for you and I to discover. Why don't you leave a comment down below and let us know what God has been doing in your life. What miracles have you seen? What things have you experienced? Have a great week and I look forward to chatting with you very soon.